As we get older, we know certain tasks become more difficult. Mm. Physical therapists say pushing yourself too hard can have its consequences. So that's why a fitness studio at Virginia Beach is leaning on a new tool, artificial intelligence, to help. News 3's Daniel Seda shows us how it works and who it could benefit most. The CDC recommends 150 minutes of physical activity a week. Though physical therapists say doing too much too soon can lead to sports injury and can even put you on an operating table. Making sure that I continue to breathe, you can see me shaking. Brian Bach says getting a workout in is no sweat. But it's a different story for some people, specifically senior citizens. They're, they're intimidated by the machines, they're intimidated by um, perhaps the younger folks that seem to know what they're doing. He says inexperience at the gym can set the stage for injury and that giving up on the gym entirely does a great disservice to a person's body. Box says both his mom and brother were obese and passed away from complications related to it. My brother um, actually passed of an infection. His body just couldn't fight off and my mother really they just said that her heart just stopped. According to the National Institutes of Health, more than one third of adults in the United States are obese. In Virginia specifically, the CDC reports that about 30% of people are obese as well. To help make Hampton Roads healthier, Bach recently opened a gym that uses artificial intelligence called the Exercise Coach. The business uses bioadaptive robotic exercise equipment and is the first in Hampton Roads. Because the, the workout meets people where they're at, you know, for older folks that maybe haven't been active, um, or haven't been active recently, um, it's really a great way for them to start building strength. He says 40 minutes a week is all you need because of how the machine adjusts your body to build muscle. Because we're moving slow, we have absolute control over the weight and we don't have to worry as much about getting injured. But we wanted to know if AI can be trusted to be a trainer. So we spoke with a physical therapist with a background in sports medicine. Mark Adams runs a clinic in Norfolk. Many of his patients are active adults who have developed sports injuries from doing workouts that their bodies aren't equipped to complete. When you lose muscle, when you gain weight, when you you know lose mobility, you have to take a step back and readdress the foundations of your health. We asked Adams if pressure the exercise coach puts on the human body differs from weightlifting or running on a treadmill. I would assume that a computer would actually be fairly calculated as long as it didn't malfunction um, and would be safe to gauge pressure and in some instances be able to maintain a certain level of pressure that even a, you know, a barbell or a dumbbell wouldn't be able to do just because of physics. Though Adam says it might not be for everyone depending on where you want to be on your fitness journey. In Virginia Beach and Norfolk, Danielle Seda, News 3.